Hi, I'm Dave. This is Dave's Weird Project, and I'm back with some more Into the Breach. Uh, we're continuing on our run here. We've made it to the second island, finished the first one last episode, and we've done one thing here, finished off this uh, hard area. It's got triple bonus on it, and we're going to go for another one. Two, two things of this, and uh, if we protect the robotics lab, we get uh, a power core. This one's really fun. Defend the terraformer, terraform the grassland back to desert. They call this one hard, but actually this terraformer friend makes it kind of easy. Uh, so let's go ahead and start. We need to activate one of our terraformers to destroy a Vec hive beneath the surface. You got it. Okay, so let's put our dudes. Uh, they're kind of concentrated over here, so we'll maybe stick to that side. Put Archimedes back here so we can use him along the back row. All right, here they go. So we got to keep this thing from getting damaged. We got to keep this thing from getting damaged. And we have to terraform the grassland back to desert. What does that mean? Check this out. He has terraformer. Eradicate all life in front of the terraformer. So we can pick one of these four squares and the six squares in front get destroyed. Okay, fantastic. Um... We have to do this, if we want to terraform the grass line back to desert, we only have four turns. So we have to do this only once to each side. We can't abuse this as like, well, I'll just hit hit here and here and here and here. Um, so we have to be a little bit careful there. What are our threats? Our threats are these guys, which are going to hurt our terraformer. But the terraformer is going to take care of quite a bit of that problem. Um, this guy is going to be doing some damage here, and this guy's going to be doing some damage here. We can easily take care of both of those situations and still protect the terraformer. So let's use Punch Boy to take him out completely since he does two damage. Let's use uh, Shoot a Boy to push him out of the way. And then we will use uh, Artillery Friend, Archimedes, to knock him down and push him over as well. And now, terraformer in action. Smoosh. Uh, and Archimedes gets a move. We'll just leave him... Yeah, we'll leave him right there. Uh, so we've only got one guy on the board, two more coming. And yeah, we're looking fantastic. The game will probably ramp up next turn and give us more spawns because we had so few. Yeah, three spawns coming. Very manageable. Now check this out. Like, we are already in position to take out both of these... Uh, when we do this square. And then... <laughs> okay. Very nice. We also got achievement for field promotion, I think because we maxed out Ralph. So yeah, he now has plus one max move and plus one grid defense, which was immediately applied. So our grid defense is now 25%. That's great. Um, we really don't have anything to do. I guess I'll block a spawn. I mean, why not? And we'll leave Archimedes there. Yeah, so I love these ones where they give you some kind of unit that, um, you know, just adds to the fun. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to just move out of the way. Because, uh, let's see. Yeah, we're just going to move out of the way. We're going to be hitting this square with the terraformer. Um, I'll tell you why. We're going to hit, we're going to use the artillery to push him up here. And that way we'll hit this square, continue on our mission to terraform, and uh, that'll be fine. Actually, maybe you know what? Instead, instead of just moving him out of the way, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do this. I'll block a spawn and push him into the water, and he can come he can come up here and block another spawn, and we'll do a repair to repair the damage that he took. Oh, made a mistake. Now, if I use my artillery the way I said I would, he'll not block that spawn. So I'm gonna use my reset turn. We'll do that artillery first. There we go. Uh, block a spawn, get rid of him. Block a spawn, repair a damage. So we will get three new guys coming out. And we will terraform. Fantastic. Uh, no, two new guys coming out. So last turn is going to be a piece of cake.
yeah, so he stayed in position to get taken out by the terraformer. Uh, Punch Boy can easily deal with him. Repair a damage just because we can. Terraform. And we are good. Wunderbar. No damages. Got all this stuff. Fantastic. What do we want to do with this power? Let's take a look. Um, we could upgrade one of these. Uh, upgrade one of these. Uh, upgrade one of these. So, none of our cool things, our cooler upgrades, are available yet. What I like to do sometimes is just upgrade one of these temporarily until I get another one. So, who do we want the most on one of our twos? I think it's going to be this one. Um, upgrading his damage would be really helpful. Um, yeah, definitely. So we will give him, uh, we'll give him plus two health. It, you know, it never hurts, but I'm pretty good at managing health, so. Okay, so now we're in a position we can go do not kill the Vault of Ek. You guys saw that one. Again, it's not my favorite. I really dislike having to carefully manage a Vec. Um, end the battle with less than four mech damage. I can definitely pull that off and uh, protect the coal plant. I like to go for the ones that have the most bonuses, right? Ideally, it's these because the stars can be converted into power if you need it at the end. Uh, or they can just get converted into power cores or weapons or whatever. But I don't have access to either of those. So I'm going to go with this one, Detonation Park. It's a fun place for your kids to play. Uh, okay, Vec Threat Detected and the Battle of mech, Less Than 4 Mech Damage. This has these big gaps, so we cannot go in those. We will die. But we can also use that to our advantage. We can push stuff into those. And I believe um, Hornets are going to come flying out of those as well. Uh, this is also rough because our land-based guys are going to have to walk all the way around um, to get to them. But I think they have to do the same thing, except for him. So let's put... Yeah, we'll put Punch Boy down here, and Cannon Boy here, and we'll put, uh, we'll put Artillery up here to maybe kind of have the range of this side. That may be a mistake, but we'll see. And we're protecting the coal plant, which is back here. Okay, not a problem. Yep, see, there's those dudes. All right, and so, yeah, we really want to get rid of Exploding, exploding uh, Guy. So, let's try this. We'll hit him with that. So now, this guy's safe if he doesn't move. It would be really nice to s protect him. Maybe that was a mistake. I think that was a mistake. I think I needed to shoot here instead, which would push him into the water. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to reset turn. This is why I need to take a little more time and a little more care sometimes. Sometimes I get excited. So if he push, if he hits here and goes push, push, um, then Punch Boy could actually take him out. When he goes into the water, he's going to blow, but he's only going to hit, so he's going to die right here. He's going to hit this square, this square, this square, and this square, so we're safe. Um, he's only going to take one damage, so no problems with explosions there. Um, Punch Boy will be able to go here and punch this, but then he'll take three damage from that. So instead, we'll have Punch Boy go here and punch in that direction. Uh, what are we going to do with him? Let's move him there. Yeah, so he will shoot this, put a damage on it. It'll push it up there. No issues. Uh, yep, I like that. Okay, and then punch here. Got rid of it and did a damage to that. That's nice. Shoot there. Uh, Archimedes, let's put you back toward the center. So I like to control uh, the center. By pushing him back a little bit, I expand the places he can move, right? He only has three movement. If he was here, two of that movement is just going nowhere on this side. I can still reach this square if I have to. Um, but I can also now reach this square if I have to. 
It's kind of like chess. Uh, controlling the center of the board is really important in chess. I'm not a chess player. I don't know a ton about chess, but uh, that's one of the few lessons I did learn. All right, what do we got? Um, he Okay, these two aren't attacking because they're new. Then there's this one. So this isn't a problem because we can just move. So our only this is our only real problem. Um, and he's not even that big of a problem. Uh, so yeah, let's... Um, We just take care of that problem like this. Who has taken damage? You've taken damage, so you can get taken out. And then we'll go and we'll do... Uh, I got two choices. I can do two to this and one to this um, by shooting it and bumping it. I can also do two to this and one to this. Uh, or two to this and one to this. That actually takes something out. So let's do that one. Okay. You'll notice there's no spawns to block. That's because everything is coming out of these holes on this mission. Oh, and Archimedes can go again. There we go. So now we've got a smoke there. Ah, thank you. He set himself up to get pushed into the water, which is wonderful. Um, this guy is kind of a problem. We can move out of the way, but then we can't really do anything about this guy uh, in that situation. Now, he can push... Oh, okay, so we use him to push him into the water, take him out. Then he can come down and punch whatever he wants to. Uh, and he can use his artillery shell to push him one to the side. And also push him down one, which, you know, not a big deal. Um, yeah, so. Ooh, another option. No, that would push this end of the building. Don't want to do that. I was going to say, another option would be to put a shell here, which pushes him over so he takes out this. But it also pushes it into the building. We don't want to, we want to try to avoid doing that. So, yeah, um, just trying to think. Can't go in the smoke, because then we just don't do anything. So yeah, we'll do that. He'll take this out. He'll take this out. And we'll go there and put a shell and then uh, save this building. Go for swimmies. Okay. So he's going to take out this mountain. He's really mad at those rocks. And uh, yeah, and then we'll put Archimedes back here again. Very dangerous. Okay. So, three problems. One, two, three. Three max. One, two, three. Uh, let's see. Unfortunately, some of them are useless. Oh, yeah. We're going we're gonna to take something. Uh, because of this situation here with these holes, I can't get people in the right position. Uh, so we'll just take this out. Yeah, there's nothing our cannon can do. Can go in the water, clean off a little bit. I'm sure he's very dusty out here. Uh, so we'll just, yeah, save that one. Might lose this one, or grid defense might save it. Clean off that mech. Yes, thank you, grid defense. That's why it's good to get that number up. Okay, so end of the battle with less than four mech. Protected the coal plant. Fantastico. All right, now we can do one of these that are to the double stars. End the battle with less than four mech and protect the clinic. And seismic activity. That's a fun environmental effect. Um, this is double power, defend the solar farms. So doing this would would boost our, our grid defense quite a bit. But we can do that with stars are on our own. So I that's why I'm saying I tend to go to for the, uh, the other ones. This is going to be our last one, remember, because four, once you finish four missions... Uh, they attack the headquarters. 
So I'm going to go for double stars because that's the most utility after the fight. And we're in a good position on our grid defense. Okay, the Vec took out this region's ground stabilizer. We're not sure what the result will be. Watch your step. That's the seismic activity going on. And there's this cute little hospital that back here that we're trying to protect. So, Bob, that's that's high importance. All right, uh, let's see. So I got a two health, a three health, four health, and he's gonna go tearing across the ground. So we gotta carefully manage him. Uh, I think the he's probably in this first round gonna go this direction. Whoosh. Um, and so like there are really only three safe lanes this one this one oh, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. and this one now we can hopefully manipulate maybe a situation where he runs into one of his buddies instead okay so uh we'll put our artillery back here we'll put you we we want to try to spread out a little bit because they're spread out we'll keep we'll keep punch boy there because he can if it if the opportunity presents itself take him out in one hit and we'll put Cannon Boy over here uh, because there's some uh, opportunities for uh, pushing that would be useful. Okay. Pod, here we go. Get that time pod, folks. Might have some good stuff in it. This is the seismic activity. Um, and what, what's going to happen is these three squares, before anything else, see, environment is number one. Before anything else, these three squares will become a chasm at the start of the enemy turn. Anything on top of them will fall in, unless it's flying like the Hornet. Um, so we definitely don't want to be on top of that, but we can use it to our advantage if we're in a position where we can push one on. This guy, it would take two pushes to get him anywhere. Um, but that might not be a terrible thing. This damage here, um, well, yeah, I don't necessarily like that either. Um, I could push him down to save this building and I'd take a damage, which isn't terrible. We want to end with less than four. Then I could use uh, his push and his push to get him onto the seismic event. And that would take him out. And I'd probably and I'd end up blocking a spawn. The other thing I could do is just knock him over here into one of the uh, safe lanes where he'll get there. He won't block the spawn because he'll be gone. And then we could use um, artillery to deal with both of these issues. Um, and yeah, and then have him, you know. Oh, he could come around and punch him onto the... Uh... Yeah, let's do that. Okay. So we'll push him over. Uh, we are... I guess we are going to do a damage to our own guy. Either way. But I think we get more utility out of this. And then he pushes him onto the thing. And then we'll move him back to the center. Remember to control the center. Oh, hits, and then whoosh. Okay. So now here's the interesting thing. Um, this chasm is now is going to make this whole side inaccessible from anything on the other side. So we have to be very careful about who we leave in this area because they're gonna they're gonna have to hold this thing on their own. I think Punch Boy is actually not too terrible of an idea for this. Um, push him into the chasm. That dies. Uh, let's see. This shot doesn't matter because he can get moved out of the way. He can come up here and move this out of the way. And then we can use artillery to once again push him into the safe lane. That seems pretty good. Oh, and we could secure the time pod, too. Okay, he's in the safe lane, and we can move him back. Keep control that center. Okay. And you see, he stayed up because he's flying. Okay, there's our chasm. 
And yeah, so now we are in a position where he's cut off. Um, let's see. We could... <laughs> now this is where Archimedes' um, thing comes in handy. We could move him onto this and push these two. But then we'd get to move back off so he doesn't go falling into the chasm. And that's great. So let's do... I think I'm going to do that. That'll get him out of his sticky problem. And then he can come over here and punch this and get rid of it. Um, he, when he moves, will end up running into the chasm and just dying. And so all we really have to worry about is this guy. Um, we can come here and shoot him down one so he just shoots into the chasm. So let's go for that. So we'll go here. Artillery push. And then move on back. Come here. Get rid of that. Push that out of the way. Chasm. And here comes Beetle Boy. Oh no, you ran off the thing. I feel really bad for you. Not really. I don't really feel bad for him. Okay, so what do we got? We got a Beetle Friend over here that's going to run into this building. We got this that's going to do a damage to me. That's kind of okay. Like, we're only at one. Um, this one doesn't really matter. This one matters. So, what can we do with artillery? If we do here, yes, do a uh, damage to our friend, but also clear this off. And then what does our friend do once he's free? One, two... See, he's going to be there. One, two, three. He doesn't really do much uh, because he'll he'll actually get killed standing in front of this, and that's that's a no-no. Uh, what else could we do? It'd be nice to push him one in one direction or the other. Who's going first? He goes first. Um, so, yeah, if, even, if I pushed him here, then I would take one damage from him, and then when he rammed, I would get bumped and also die. So, that's rough. Um, I could punch. Yeah, this is probably it. We punch and get him off of us. Yeah. Punch and get him off of us. Ooh, what was that? Oh, I hit the tilde. I don't know. I don't know what the... Pay no attention to that man behind the curtain. Uh, he doesn't know what he's doing. I think I hit... What's that? Yeah, it's console. So, yeah, this is the developer console. I've never tried it. I, I don't... Cheating at games is whatever. If you need to do it, it's okay. Um, do that. And then we really just need to worry about this. So, we will... Um, let's see. We'll come up here. We don't do any damage to buildings. Oh, no, don't do that. No, 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 no. Um, oh, yeah. Boy, this is a little bit tricky. Okay, I know what to do. So, because he gets to move after he shoots, we'll just do this. Attack canceled because his square is now off the map. And then we'll just get out of the way. Yeah. Schwack. Schwack. What does schwack? What does schwack mean? Ah. Alright, so we finished that one. Got all the things. Let's see what's in our time pod. <gasps> cool! So... Um, you always get a reactor core, but sometimes you get a weapon! Range class weapon. So this is for our artillery. Uh, let's see. A dangerous projectile that damages everything it passes. You take one damage. And you can upgrade it to be buildings immune. Pretty fun. Okay. So, we got a core. And we got that cool weapon. Um... Now, we had put a core on him, hoping to get this upgraded. And I'm, I think I still want to commit to that. I'm going to put this on. Uh, but I'm not going to worry about powering it up right now. I'm going to come back here and commit to upgrading the damage on him. So now he does two instead of one. Very helpful. Um, we'll, we'll consider this. We may sell it or we may power it up. I don't know. It depends on how many cores we can afford at the end. If we need to repair any grid damage. That kind of thing. 
Okay, we got, uh, yeah, we got some time. We got enough time to do the, the final boss. A Vec monstrosity is assaulting our tower. We have to rely on you this final time to help us. Okay. Uh, so, the beetle is, he's basically just a copy of the smaller beetles, except he does a lot more damage. And he leaves fire behind him. Uh, so, he's going to be interesting to manage. A lot more open space on this one, though. That's nice. I've got to deal with an explodey guy. I think I'm going to put him down here with the assumption that we're going to take that out as fast as possible. Let's go kind of on the inside of this building with him with the hope that we may be able to push him into some water. And as always, we're going to put our cheerleader in the back where it can do the most good without getting in the way. Okay, okay. So, this lane is actually safe if we move out of the way. Um, trying to think what we want to do. If we were to push him into the water, his action would get cancelled, but he doesn't die. He has the massive trait, like we do. Um, but we can cancel his attack for sure by pushing him into the water. Uh, which we would do probably... Probably with artillery. We definitely need to get rid of this as soon as possible. And looks like Punch Boy is the only one that can do that. So now, no more exploding for you guys. Uh, let's see, if we do this, then it's actually going to push him down where he threatens this building. So let's put him here first, so we'll be able to push him back up into the safe lane. And of note, no damage to the boss this round, so we're going to have to work extra hard the next three rounds. And we'll keep him center-ish. Probably more this side is more important. Okay. Two new guys, an artillery bug and a hornet. Okay, so now we can maybe hopefully start doing damage to him. So he's running uh, northwest. Uh, that's fairly easy to solve. We can put an artillery shell here, which pushes him. What order does he go in? He's first, of course. And then we can push him, because Archimedes has extra move, uh, he can get out of the way of whatever. So I think we definitely want to do that. He's a problem. Push him into the water. He's a problem. So again, we will not be doing any damage to him if we do it this way. If we pushed him back, you do three damage to him. We may lose a building. It might be worth it to get some damage on him this turn. to do with our cannon. I didn't really think about that. Oh, shoot. Well, no. Block a spawn. It's kind of lame. Like, I don't want to shoot him because it would. the only angle I can shoot him from is this one, so it would push him to that he hits him. Don't want to do that. Uh, I don't want to shoot him because then that cancels our whole do three damage to the boss plan. So, yeah, I think we'll just block a spawn. And boom, shoot at the water, because we're sad about our choices. Resist! Thank you, grid defense. Okay, excellent. Okay, so he's in a safe lane. Um, oh, this is great. We can take him out right now. Two damage from the cannon, one from the bump. Takes care of him. We gotta solve this. I made us all this. Those are both very doable. Yep. Take him out. 
just knock him around. Archimedes. Eh, we'll leave him right there. That's good. I wish that went down into the hole and hit whatever was coming out. That'd be great. <laughs> okay, so... One problem, two problem, three problem. Uh, both of these issues get solved if I put an artillery shell there. And then he can come knock him. Up. He can... And he'll get taken out by a shot. Yeah, we're good. So... Solve these two problems. Solve this problem. Solve that problem. Good Samaritan. Earn nine reputation for missions on a single corporate island. I must admit, that was an impressive performance. We will rest easy on knowing that Vec Monstrosity no longer infests our island. Her voice has changed like four times throughout this run. Okay, finished it up. Very good. And we did another perfect island. You completed every mission on RST despite the odds. You've earned my respect, Rift Walkers, and everything we can offer. All right, so we've got uh, Smoke Mortar. Uh, apply smoke and pushes two adjacent tiles. Meh. Um, more grid defense or another pilot. It's great when you're just starting out to kind of always take the pilot because then you fill out your roster of available pilots. Mech starts every mission with a shield. That's pretty nice. They get to basically ignore the first damage that gets done with it to them. So we'll do that. Uh, we've got nine cores to sp or nine uh, stars to spend. Reputations. Um, so yeah, let's see. He's one mech move. She's three good defense. So yeah, we'll put her on this. Thank you for your service, Dylan. Now I sell you back. <laughs> <laughs> to the place. Okay, so, ah, here's a fire beam. This is a science class weapon. So you can see it's a science class in red, meaning that um, I don't get to use it without a penalty because I don't have any science class mechs. Um, but it basically sets fire in a beam. Neat. Uh, we've got a smoke jump. So basically, you jump over a square and apply smoke to the square in between. Um, that can be fun. It can cancel uh, a unit's a thing. Um, rock acceler accelerator. This is another range, so it does two damage. It drops a rock and it pushes things to the side, not all directions, just to the sides, uh, perpendicular to your shot. Waving my hands around again. Uh, and we've got smoke pellets uses per battle. Oh, okay, you drop a bunch of smoke somewhere, and it's a science class. Um, I don't think any of these are super important to us, so I'm I'm leaning in on just getting a bunch of reactor cores so we can start powering up more stuff. One, two, three. One extra grid defense. Do we want to keep this? Self damage is an interesting prospect. I'm thinking for this game, no. We'll get one more grid defense. So our grid defense is now up to 34%. Fantastic. Leave Island. Now, before we end this episode, we're really close on time here. Uh, by completing two islands, you've unlocked Pinnacle Robotics. In future games, you'll be able to visit unlocked islands in any order. Look. A volcano has appeared. Final mission. You may complete the final mission at any point after securing two corporate islands. The difficulty of the mission scales to your current progress. So we finished two islands... We can go after the final mission. If we beat this, we we win this timeline. We could also move on and do this. And um, if we do that and beat it, this would get a little bit harder because we'd beat three. Um, we could also beat this one and then beat this one. And then this one would be the most hard it's going to get because we beat four. I'm going to, next time, just go for it so you can see what the end of the game looks like. Um and uh, we'll just see how that goes. But we are coming up on time here. We're actually a little bit over. So uh, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and share and, and push buttons. And uh, until next time, take care, everybody.